Hi guys and welcome to your June 2020. This is going to be the what aren't they telling you for the beautiful sign of Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Capricorn, you are a number of three. Ow. If you are new here with me, hello, hello. If you are returning, welcome back. If you are subscribed to the tribe like so many of you are, and what's good, fam bams, and hello to my members. Let me tuck this out the way. So, how in the hell is it hanging? You know I'm going to go ahead and give you a few announcements while I get these cards in my hand. Um, guys, oops. You guys know that the 1111 special is a monthly special, okay? If you're new here with me, this is for you. It's a monthly special. If you're interested in my energy and want to check me out, then I offer on a monthly special, one time a month. And <laughs> you lucky five that booked will be meeting with me tomorrow. I make the phone calls, guys. Please read those confirmations. Capricorns, I know I don't have to tell you that because when you're doing business with somebody, you're going to go up, down, and all around through their stuff. You want to read terms and conditions and some more stuff. <laughs> me too. Capricorn Moon is in the house. We got to know what we're doing, don't we? But for those of you who are cross-watching on behalf of a Capricorn and you're here checking me out, the 1111 special is a special that I give monthly. The 1111 portal opens on the 4th of each month. On the 4th, what that means is, is that the portal will open for you to, so the portal link will open for you to book. When you book it, you will go to the scheduler and book it and pay and you will get a confirmation. And what you're paying for is for a 20 minute reading to take place on the 11th of that month, which is seven days later. You get it? 7-Eleven, you get it? Yeah. So that's what we're doing. It always ends up falling seven days later. Okay. The 4th to the 11th, seven days. You tell me how that works, but that's just how it works. Okay. So that's that. If you're interested in your five card collective bonus reading by element that I do monthly, that, oh yes, come on now, that is that for purchase that's below. And if you are interested ooh, in becoming a member, that is below as well. I want you to go and check out your five card, your five card, your one card com companion one card companion reading on Instagram. That link is below. What you will be viewing is last week's. This week's from the 7th through the 13th will be up. Thank you for allowing me to take care of my business, Capricorns. I appreciate it. I need to sage my hands and let's get started. What aren't they telling you from the for the beautiful sign of Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus from the 7th through the 13th. Look at that. All right. Now we will be using the illuminated tarot in the heart center. That's going to let us know what is the mutual energy going on between you and your person. And, um, the illuminated tarot is a blended deck. Okay. So it won't be an Oracle. It will be this particular deck. It's going to be in the heart center. We will be shuffling around it. Now, I believe that I have handled Everything that it is that I need to handle for my announcements. Um, I think I said hi to you guys, right? Told you I need a script. Okay. <laughs> hey, how you Capricorns doing? Y'all been raising hell and saying, I know I have. Just cutting up. I, you know, <sighs> cutting the shine. Cutting the shine, Capricorns. Let's see what they not telling us. It's normally all types of crazy stuff. Let's see what's going on. <laughs> Universe, spirit, angels, and my gods, please live me <laughs> and my fellow Capricorn, sun, moon, rising, and Venus up in spirit. Let us know what they're not telling us from the week of the 7th through the 13th. If you're connecting with Libra and Taurus, those videos are up for your viewing pleasure as well as their extensions. Let's go. Show me spirit. What aren't they telling us? Oh, Okay. All right, I see it. I'm going to flip it over. Show me spirit. 
Queen of Swords. Top six of Swords. I like it. <laughs> All right. So when we're in this energy, let's get serious. Now, when we're in this energy, they are, again, what aren't they telling us can be a variety of things. What they're not saying to us, period. How they're interpreting something, how they're feeling about something, what they're going through, how they perceive what they perceive we're doing, it, it so forth and so on. This what I see between you guys is this indicating that Queen of Swords is what is going on with you right now. You saying no, you putting up boundaries, but this is coming from a, a, a level of, a, of truth. No longer in the dark, intuitively. Hold on. I'm feeling it. No longer in the dark, wanting clarity, being tired. Tired of going back and forth. My hand is on the card. Hold on. Hold on. She's talking to me. Things did not work out. But I don't want to be in the cold anymore. I want to transition out of that. I want to come out of it. I don't know why I'm acting. Hold on. They don't want to be upset and fighting with you anymore. You guys don't see eye to eye. Uh -uh. And the not seeing eye to eye has nothing to do with petty beefs and arguments. It is beliefs. Transition. Out of waters that are choppy into more calm waters. The question is, is whether this person wants to do it with or without you. Obviously is what they're not telling you. And the heart of the matter is, is them wanting to walk into that clarity of this queen of swords, but also perceiving you as the person who put the kibosh on something. Two of coins juggling more than one area of your life, trying to balance things out. There's the blockages. Pinnacles I hear. There's something with commitment. Show me spirit and Capricorn. You lay. Yes, you lay down the law. That's the Ten of Cups. If you are looking for what decks I'm using, because I'm like that, they're below. Exactly. Here we go now. When we talk about this Ace of Swords. So you guys have moved and transitioned through every sword in the whole suit. Ups, downs, round and rounds and back again. But. The queen is here, and I think the energy is a little bit lighter. They're looking at you that way, but then they're also desiring a brand new truth for beginning. There has been a difference between you guys of how you interpret your Ten of Cups. Talk about it. Come on now. Yes. What you, you better talk about it. How you interpret your Ten of Cups, what the Ten of Cups mean to both of you guys separately there has been differences between how both of you guys see commitment Capricorn you feel like things should happen in a certain way and this person is a little bit more lackadaisical about how they interpret how they view what you I can't even explain it because there is no plan <laughs> this is the their plan is the non-plan <laughs> Capricorn, you better stop. But needless to say, the connection with you is a success. They're in love with you. You already know that. Um, we have a, another two with the high priestess at the top of the deck here. Um, there's a shitload of swords here. You guys are possibly um, not speaking, talking about one another, but not talking to one another. That's fine. Um, how I know you're showing up is you want them to take those two pinnacles and balance them correctly. I know that that's your energy. Um, you definitely, I'm telling you what's here. And this makes sense. This is a welcome energy for me to, to, to give to you tonight. Because what I'm saying is, is that they're looking at it as, as a success. This person really does have a lot of feelings for you. And they want that. They want that love. They want your comfort. They want your warm back. That's the nice, cozy fire. They want all that back. You are home. I have been telling you this for six plus months. 
I'm back to that whole thing again. I'm feeling that person. I told you guys. I told you guys. I told you guys. If you're new here with me, the last week's video from the first through the sixth is was uh, okay. Come on, uh, don't start with me, iMac. The that was called. They want to rebuild with you cut by cup. They do want to rebuild with you cut by cup. In this particular read, and they stack those 10 cups up. And if they have to rebuild it, they will do whatever they want to do. But this energy is a little bit different. This energy is them listening to you. This energy is them understanding these boundaries that need to be put in place. This energy is understanding that those two pinnacles they've been juggling, you don't want the juggling anymore. You understand that the relationship can be successful the way they see it, okay? In that six of wands, you guys can get the success and the acclaim if they do the work. And there's been a certain amount of this type of energy here. And we have double sixes and we have double twos. Um, the high priestess, what has not been seen? Hire you, the high priestess, choices. And I'm talking about not the choice of where you're going to drink coffee, a choice that's going to change your life. There's been a lot of life changing type of energies that I have been reading. I get a lot of my oldies come back, my reoccurring clients, the Mar, oh my God, the readings have been off the chain. I'm just the vessel. I'm not selling snake oil. I don't know what's going on other than what's going on in the sky. We are all being jolted and, 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 and pushed and pulled back and forth to do this work. And these people that you guys are connecting with, no matter whether they're coming up to you and know the spiritual lingo, they're still affected. They may not, they may be dumb as a box of rocks. Now, I'm not trying to talk about the person you love. <laughs> they may be dumb as a box of rocks. They may not know how to walk with you good, but you love them, Capricorn. <laughs> and you don't talk about somebody that Capricorn love. You better move around. <laughs> oh, I can talk about us because I understand. Don't you talk about somebody I love? Because to me, he is the goat or she is the goat. He can have one tooth in his mouth. <laughs> and look like baby Huey. What difference does it make? <laughs> because we will make the world think he, whoever you deem necessary, because if whoever's important to you, we're going to, we, like, like I just told somebody the other day, when I love my person, it's my job to empower them to make them feel invincible. So if you got a superwoman or you got a superman, I know exactly what you do when you love somebody. That is our problem. <laughs> they want to get out of this. Two twos. Choices. Okay. Not just a choice of where am I going to eat dinner or where am I, do I want a cup of coffee. Choices that's going to change your life, like I was saying. And then when we, when we start talking about the other, we have the two sixes. This is <clears throat> swords and wands. Do you see it? So what we would like to do is successfully move out of all of that stagnant energy from the past. Let's face it. That's not easy. Okay. What we would like to be successful is, is moving back to the love that we had. You cannot go back to the beginning, but they want to elevate this Ten of Cups that they feel for you. Now they want to rebuild it cup by cup because they know that that's what you need in order to even for them to get a seat at the table. But what they're feeling for you, Capricorn, is all of the cups. They want to elevate this Ten of Cups to the next level. Clarify this two of coins <laughs> and they want to come in. First of all, extending lighthearted energy, you have shut them out and haven't spoken to them. I am so tired of these cards. Hold on. Let me see if I can get my... Here we go. Oh, oh, there we go. <laughs> I'm sorry. Time to clear the energy. Um, I don't like where this is placed. That's clarifying my Ten of Cups. Um, yes. Yes, there is an energy... Of an ex. 
I, I, I feel like uh, uh, I'm, I'm repeating myself in every single video. Yes, the energy of the ex is here. Yes, there was something that happened with this person. Clarify, Queen of Swords. Um, that happened that they're bringing into this energy. I do not like that. They have enough major arcana energy and new beginnings here. They're going to be telling you the truth about their hangups. They're going to be telling you the truth. Of, and, and they're respecting these boundaries. I knew that was going to come out. They're respecting these boundaries that you put up to past life relationship. You know, every time it's like, uh, uh, uh. Here we go. I'm doing it again with the past life relationship, Capricorn, and your partner. Check it out. This card is here to explain this connection, okay? You have unfinished business in conjunction with this soulmate from a past life. You, this may involve forgiving someone, a joint project, or learning personal lessons. Soulmates recognize each other instantly. And this feeling is often registered as a sense of romantic or sexual chemistry. The magnetism that draws these two together can defy logic, can surpass logic, because the purpose of the relationship is healing and learning. So whether or not your soulmate becomes your life partner, Capricorn, you will experience personal and spiritual lessons and growth as a result. Now you are a little bit more enlightened than this person that you love. So they had to do and walk down the spiritual path and come into their high priestess knowing into their higher them into things that are unseen that they're just discovering on their own. You are not talking to this person. The communication is off. Based upon boundaries, I don't see a separation. I see uh, you not being bothered. And they are okay with that because they want to talk. And it's funny because guess what? What clarifies my Ace of Swords? A heart-to-heart -heart conversation. Maybe they're allowing you to cool off. I don't know. But the, the, the clarity is coming, okay? The clarity is a coming. I'm just going to let you know that. Clarify my six of wands. Ultimately, they see this as a success. They want to elevate this ten of cups. They want to elevate the love that they have for you to the next level. Um, children are here. They are reaching out. Everybody is talking. I told you at the beginning. Maybe you guys are talking about each other to other people, but not talking to each other about each other. Um, whomever that they're speaking to right now has their back Capricorn. I don't really like to see that card um, because a lot of these people are not equipped spiritually um, and they're low vibrational. I know that because I know that there's a small population of us that actually tries to do the work and walk our truth and our path and da da da. And I know that there is a good majority of the people, you know, and, and that's fine. It, it's not about statistics. It's about me looking at this card and hearing and seeing that whomever they are speaking with is got their back and is rooting for you guys. So that is a good thing. Someone knows the BS of this person, somebody that this person can trust. I don't necessarily know if that's a lot of people. That person can be a person in their family. Okay. I want to show you these. We have reconciliation and we have children. Um, reconciliation, I wouldn't have normally showed you, but it was close. So that's the reason why I did it. Let's go ahead and go in with our sacred soulmates. This person has your back. This, this person doesn't have your back. This person has the, the, the back of the person that you are connecting with, but they're rooting for you because they know that you are good for the person and the relationship that you're in with this particular person is good for them. You guys, there is a child tie here. Um, so I don't know whether you guys have children. If you're pregnant, congratulations. Um, I don't see the miscommunication. I don't see the breakup. I don't see the tower. I see the miscommunication and the not talking. But I do see clarity. All right, so we have celebrate. I'm sure that's what they want to do guides are here so although they want to extend their lighthearted energy to you 
um, and and they want to approach this commitment talk with you lightheartedly. This person is not as serious as you are, Capricorn, and that's what's attractive about them. Let's face it. I'm going to take this as a wild card. Um, you know, we do need um, other energies to balance us out. Sometimes you have to allow the opposite energy to come in and balance you out. I'm triple cardinal, so that's fun. You know what I'm saying? So know yourself and be okay. Be okay with what you what you know what makes Capricorn Capricorn, good, bad, or indifferent. This person is lighthearted. Um, again, I see Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio, and I see nothing. Oh, I do see the commitment here. Uh, or the issue or what what has been the problem or a thorn in your side Capricorn represented as an energy of the two of uh, pentacles again um, so I do see Taurus Virgo and Capricorn and then I see nothing but swords Gemini Libra or Aquarius now if you're not connecting with that person uh, those energies or that person or you have those energies in their chart then that just means that this is what spirit is telling you to do. Okay, you guys need to go and embody some of that energy. All right, then we have healing. Good news is, is the release your ex, which is clarifying my 10 of cups, um, is being clarified by healing. So there is a great number, a, a great deal of healing that has been done or um, that is happening and it has happened right before your eyes. Think about the progress of the relationship, good, bad, and indifferent, where you started and where you are. And even if there was a change, think about how that change affected you. Reflect right now. That's what you're supposed to be here to do. Use your time wisely as, uh, as well because this person is not going anywhere. Abundance. So you are a soulmate. This is a past life relationship. My queen of swords, I believe, is coming in to present those obstacles of things that it, that represents unfinished business um, because it has been difficult. It's not a page energy, but these are grown man and grown woman problems. Do you understand? But they do look at this as an abundant type of relationship. Spirit is coming through and saying that as well. Um, addiction also came out. I'm going to take that as a wild card as well. Um, if it, if it resonates with you guys, let me know right now, you two may be on opposite ends of the playing field. If someone is in, um, Mexican standoff mode, what's happening is, is you're taking some time to take care of you. This relationship situation and stuff is heavy. And this person is just maybe allow. I know what you're you're doing. You definitely going to take care of you. But I'm letting you know that maybe you had an issue with the way that this person took care of themselves or uh, which is uh, ultimately the reason why they couldn't take care of you and the kids. But they need they needed your help in order to know what it was to even take care of a home or a fat, they needed help with that. And now they're, and they never took care of themselves. That could be where this addiction is coming from and this celebrate. Maybe they partied and bullshitted too much. Maybe that's exactly why this came out in the heart to heart conversation. Um, but again, you take those two wild cards as they resonate, clarify, let your friends help you in the six of wands. Um, I really do feel like they needed your help. They looked at you lessons. Absolutely. Um, they looked at you. Um, they looked up to you. That sounds weird, right? You are, I told you choices was here. You are someone who, when they had big things going on in their life, they consulted you. Um, I'm feeling that you are my home again. You are my heart. You are my home. I want my warm back. I want my cozy nights by the fire back. I want my home cooked meals back. I want my person back. I want that back. I need that back. I'm tired of this. Like I feel that I need that back. Do you hear me? I'm gonna need to rub that. Do you get that? <laughs> so transitioning, moving into their higher self, into that high priestess energy, not even knowing what all is there yet. Trying to use their intuition. Secrets that they don't even know about yet. It's being revealed. 
top of the deck choices. So that is what is they're making the choice to transition out of rocky out of out of rocky waters with you going into a more calmer situation with a better state of mind tapping into this high priestess it's okay if you hold any secret because there is no way you hold in some secrets of a high priestess level a high priestess level ain't you uh you going to that's not the type of secret this ain't deception this is a higher higher hire you i'm not going to make that bad i want them to use their intuition i want them to non-act right now to continue but they want their want they want their warm back they want their warm and fuzzy back they want to cuddle with you they want all of that back they don't want to fight they really just don't want to fight anymore and underneath the choices is trauma look at that all right Somewhere in, in between, they want their warm back and they want, you know, I, I, that's what I'm going to convey. Okay. Like, share, subscribe to the Marvelous Tribe. I hope that that made sense, Capricorn. I try so hard to give you what you need. Am I singing? What am I doing? I did not have time to go through your blockages. It happens like that all the time. I'll do it in the extension. It is not a big deal. This is a full comprehensive reading. You don't have to, I'm not holding anybody's feet to the fire to go and find out and get a little bit deeper. That is your choice, okay? Like, share, subscribe to the Marvelous Tribe. Um, they're going through a lot. They see you as abundance. Um, they, they see this relationship as abund to be abundant. You are their pot of gold. You, 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 okay? That's a nice one. You are their pot of gold. You are. They want it back. Okay. <laughs> I'm out of here. I will see you guys next week when we do it again. Everything you need from me is below. Bye Capricorn. See everybody else in the extension.